It's embarrassing, but the thing I get caught doing the most is I get caught picking my nose a bit, so that's not fun. And eating or no, I'm flicking? A, I'm a flicker, yeah, not an eater. going out with Sam Shaw. How does that sit with you? Oh, look, uh, if there was a, if I could choose anyone for uh, to be going out, you know, Sam would certainly be uh, at the top of that list. There's a lot of guys at this footy club that uh, I wouldn't be so comfortable with her um, seeing regularly. Which of your teammates would your, you'd want your sister to date? <laughs> You're a nice boy, yeah. Bush. I'll go with you, I reckon. Um, nah, you'd, uh, you'd take the cake there, I reckon. I was hoping you'd say Sam Shaw. Ne never had a Taylor Walker prank put on you? Uh, I think it was Yenchi. Um, thought it'd be pretty funny to throw bleach all over one of my hoodies. So uh, that looked pretty good when I wore that. Um, I had protein thrown in my shoe, so that stunk. Oh, actually, I threw Yenchi's bag in the toilet, so that wasn't too bad. Well, not too bad after a while. A bit of thinking time when you came up with that. What is your best dance move, though? Um, do a good Michael Jackson rendition, and I'm a bit of a shuffler as well, so I go right on the D floor. All right, well we're uh, we're here with a bloke who actually does play for this footy club. He, we didn't drag him just from the wharf. May Wright, young gun. Uh, I've got just asking you a few questions. Uh, nothing too serious, mate. The best prank you've pulled or ever had pulled on you before? Uh, well, I'm actually in the middle of one at the minute. I've um, got a. <laughs> A couple of fart bombs in the soles of the skipper's shoes, so I, uh, I'm waiting for him to put his shoes on at the minute, so I'll, uh, I'll have to get back to you. Well, we'll, uh, we'll look at, uh, see how that pans out. I'm very much looking forward to seeing that. All right, well, we're here with uh, the one and only uh, Matthew Yench. Um, Yench, I've just got a few questions for you, mate. Um, first thing I want to ask you about is obviously the weekend. You know, you had a good game coming back into the side. The fine. Now you got fined for wrestling, and there's been a bit of talk around the club that you uh, different tactics to try and get the fine paid because you're not uh, you're not renowned as one of the biggest spenders of the club. Do you want to elaborate on this? That's false. I'm the biggest spender of the club. Um, no, I just uh, I've got a tin there where the boys just can put in a couple of bucks um, every day when they come in. And um, Barry Downs is going to be a few balls uh, light this weekend because they'll be on eBay. So get on eBay and um, yeah, bid for them. Beautiful, expect nothing less from you. Um, mate, now this question is very relevant to you. The best prank you've ever pulled or had pulled on you before? Uh, well, the best prank that's been pulled on me, I got pushed in the pool by Tippo on about my third or fourth day at the club. Um, yeah, I was just. As you can imagine, I was actually pretty shy in the first week, um, and yeah, just got pushed in the pool, fully clothed like this. It's disappointing, phone, keys, wallet and all, so um, yeah, and the best prank I've pulled was probably uh, to get Tippo back, I sunk his bag to the bottom of the pool with a couple of 25 kilo weights. Very nice, very nice, Tippo seems to cop a fair bit. Now, which of your teammates would you want your sister to date if you had a choice? Without a shadow of a doubt, you, Dave. I think you're very clean cut, clean shaven, blonde hair, blue eyes, perfect. That's good, Yenchi. I like the sound of that. Um, what's the most embarrassing moment you ever had before in your life? Um, probably about 500 of them. Um, I don't know, actually. I've had too many. Oh, the one thing I cannot stand is like I get so nervous when someone introduces themselves to me and I can't remember their name and say so I call you Daniel instead of David, that really embarrasses me so that's one I do a lot and don't like. If a movie was made about Matthew Yench, who would be the lead, lead character? Um, I'd have to say I don't want that mate. <laughs> <laughs> Actually I'll write that one again because I stuffed it up. If a m <laughs> okay, roll it. Cut that in, can you? <laughs> um, probably Mark Wahlberg or um, Denzel Washington, both just courageous actors, but I'd also have to add in a mixture of um, Seth Rogen, um, just because he's a character, and I think I'm a character, but also just amazing, just courageous, yep. Courageous character. <laughs> you never fail to uh, amaze. Matthew Yench, thanks for joining us. Thanks, David.
Yeah. You struck me as a bloke who is usually on the end of the prank, yeah, which is unfortunate yeah. for you. Yeah, I've been pranked so. a few times actually. Uh, I got stitched up the other night when we had the cooking class on uh, Twitter um, by Joe Prochenko, a couple of things I said. So. There you go in the kitchen. You uh, need yeah, a bit of work there. I struggle a little bit at the moment, but um, hopefully I can turn it around. Oh, that will come, mate. That will come. Now, we, if you had a team, if you could choose a teammate to uh, to date your sister, who would you choose? Probably you, Dean Mac. I reckon. <laughs> nice looking young man, good personality, treat her, treat her right. I reckon. So. I've got to keep asking this question. Man. I think uh, getting some good answers. <laughs> Now, if a movie was made about your, your great self, um, who would play? Um, who would be the lead actor in that, that movie? Oh, geez, probably Matt Yench or someone like that. I reckon. <laughs> what do you reckon? Well, uh, yeah, um, I don't think you'd be winning too many awards with that movie, but um, <laughs> I guess this is pretty relevant for you. What's something that your your mum still does for you? Oh well, now that I'm in a host family, probably my host mum does just about everything for me. She doesn't let me do anything, so, oh, oh everything good. <laughs> I don't do anything apart from get home and go to sleep and eat, so, um, yeah, she she does seriously everything for me at the moment. That's why I've got to start cooking. Oh, it's all right, mate. Sort of you got plenty of time to do all that sort of yeah, stuff. Uh, Brad Crouch, thanks very much for joining us. Cheers.